we did uh, from the kingdom fungi okay after that uh, there is a uh, kingdom planty and uh, animal kingdom is there uh, those thing uh, in plant kingdom so we will do detail okay that uh, so i will take later on after this First, uh, today we will uh, see, as you can see in your uh, 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 screen, that uh, today is our um, topic is that uh, viruses and lichen. Viruses, viroids, lichen. Actually, uh, these uh, these things. This viruses, lichen, viroids. This, there is no place for this in the five kingdom classification. In five kingdom classification, They have not found any they have not found any place in this five kingdom classification and this is one of the demerit of the five kingdom classification. Okay, that uh, here uh, here no space has been given of course in two kingdom classification though viruses were not included but lichen had a place okay lichen was kept along with the, in the plant kingdom along with those of fungi and all fungi bacteria lichen uh, those were kept under this uh, uh, two kingdom classification. So here it is. Why this? Uh, what is the problem with this uh, lichen? That lichen did not find a place. Actually, lichen, lichen is a symbiont. Is a symbiont. This is a, this shows a symbiotic, biosis relationship between algae and fungi. Now, See the uh, condition, algae is in the plant kingdom, okay, and fungi in the kingdom fungi or mycota, right. So where to place them, this lichen, whether they should be placed in the kingdom fungi or they should be placed in kingdom Plenty because algae fall under kingdom plenty. Within the algae, of course, algae also, this was according to the old classification, that is two kingdom classification. Now, from the algae, there is the prokaryotic algae has been separated out. Is it in the old classification algae included prokaryotic organism as well as eukaryotic? The eukaryotic portion has been kept under algae, but the prokaryotic portion has been separated and they have been taken to Kingdom Monera. The algal partner of the lichen, 
though it is mostly eukaryotic and they belongs to family chlorophyce but some of the in the fungi some of the lichen which contain the algal partner which are prokaryote like nostoc nostoc then cytonema cytonema these are the prokaryotic algae that blue green algae actually this is blue green or you can say that uh, is uh, mm, the cyanobacteria though it is called that combination relationship between algae and fungi in algae also there is two part is there one portion is according to new classification it is cyanobacteria or it belongs to eukaryotic true algae so where to keep this lichen to the kingdom monera or to the fungi or to the kingdom planty so there is a very big confusion a dilemma and that's why perhaps the author could not place it in any of the any of the kingdom and so it is undecided where to keep so this is a big debate and for this they could not create a new kingdom also this is the problem with the lichen okay what is the problem with the virus say virus problem is in the classification this classification is for all living organism all living organism and all the living organism they have a cellular organization they have cellular organization so living now virus there is a question whether it is living or non living say viruses are not truly living when they are within the living cell they are actually viruses are obligate parasite obligate parasite means they are fully parasite their life cycle is led as a parasite they don't have independent life no independent life outside the living cell they do not survive okay they are outside living host cell they are inert okay they can be it has been found 
that they can be crystallized. This is a characteristic of the inert chemical. Okay. A non living chemical substance. Like chemical substances, they can be crystallized. Crystallization, I think perhaps you have studied a little in the chemistry. Crystallization. Crystals is a definite geometric shape of particular chemical. Okay. So they can be crystallized. Living things cannot be crystallized. And they don't have any metabolism. No no metabolism, no protoplasm. Okay. No metabolism. Metabolism, you understand that all the biochemical reaction taking place within the living organism, within the living system, which keep them alive. That is the metabolism. And viruses, they don't have any metabolism. So how can they be living? They don't have protoplasm. They cannot be living. We know that the protoplasm is the physical basis of of uh, life. Protoplasm is the physical basis of life. That is the basic matter, basic living matter is the protoplasm. Protoplasm is the basic living matter. Is that so? How can no protoplasm? And another thing is that they have a definite geometric shape. Their shape is a definite geometric shape. They are hexagonal or polyhedral type of structure. Bacteriophage, they are polyhedral uh, type of things are there. Or they are, that is the rod shaped. All right. So these are the things. And another thing is that they have either DNA or RNA. So due to this, there is a question mark in their living status. Of course, they have some character which shows that they are living. Character of living is living character that they cause infection. Infection disease and they multiply This is multiplication reproduction to increase their number producing the similar. Okay, this is a very, very important character of the living. So they have some character 
of living and many character of non living so they are partially living partially non living and that's why also they have been not classified along with the living organism they are perhaps a link between non living and living that is they are standing between the non living and living a transition things okay so these are the causes that they are not classified under this five kingdom classification not classified in the classification of the living organism anyway but still these organisms are very prominent and they have lot of influence on our life and we are now you know that i think everyone we know uh, that we are suffering from the infectious disease that corona is it corona the infectious disease and due to the entire globe is under this uh, um, under the influence of this virus no and still we are not recovered from this so this way that it is very very important in our life and so we have to know it. this is the virus virus is actually a virus this has two things viruses are made of protein and nucleic acid the protein portion is the major part here and the protein this is this form the protective cover this one is known as capsid the capsid is made of a smaller unit okay so in a capsid there are a small unit these small units are called capsomeres this capsomere may be in the polyhedral condition or may be in helical condition they are arranged in the nucleic acid there is one unique thing is that the nucleic acid is present either rna or dna only one all the living organism they have both right from prokaryote to eukaryote all the organism they have both the nucleic acid rna as well as the dna but the viruses have only one nucleic acid at a time in a virus either it is rna or it is dna and that is why viruses have been classified grouped into rna virus 
and DNA virus. Okay. This corona, this one also is a RNA virus. This RNA may be single stranded or double stranded. DNA also may be single stranded DNA virus or double stranded DNA virus. Usually, the plant viruses, that is the virus which infects the plant plant viruses viruses are usually RNA virus <coughs> they have usually double stranded RNA Say like all this uh, cauliflower virus, uh, then uh, tobacco mosaic virus, TMB. TMB, tobacco mosaic virus. Okay. And the animal virus. Animal virus may be RNA. There are RNA virus or DNA virus, and in both the cases, double stranded and single stranded condition is there. Say, our that uh, AIDS, no, the disease caused by the virus in human beings, that AIDS virus is RNA virus. Coronavirus is uh, RNA virus. Okay, so this uh, RNA uh, DNA also may be single standard DNA or double standard DNA. So the viruses they have protein and nucleic acid. So we can say viruses are nucleoprotein structure. Nucleo protein structures. Viruses viruses are smaller than bacteria. This was reported by Ivanovsky. Ivanovsky for the first time, he reported that the TMB, the mosaic disease which is caused by TMB, that virus can pass through passed through bacteria proof filter bacteria proof filter means the filter paper or the filter membrane that is used to filter out the bacteria means through which bacteria cannot pass the viruses can pass through this. So it means viruses are smaller than bacteria. Another thing is that uh, the one bizarinic Bizernik, okay. He observed one thing that the extract of extract of a disease plant, 
of this is plant can cause infection in a healthy plant okay in a healthy plant this was of course observation was made in the tobacco plant only this observation also made in tobacco plant all right that it was found so means that extract that is the leaves of the tobacco plant were crushed and the liquid from that it was extracted and then the when this extract was given to the uh, very healthy healthy fat another plant then it caused the, the disease so that uh, that infectious that fluid is infectious means infection lies in that fluid and he gave the name that fluid as a contagium contagium vivum b e m vivum fluidum see this is not the english language okay latin uh, greek contagium means which can contaminate perhaps contagium vivum means vivum is viable living fluidum fluid that the infectious living fluid means infect infectious living fluid this was demonstrated by bezerni that the spread of the disease takes place by the liquid liquid from one organism which is infectious uh but they were which is a uh, diseased in the uh, liquid from the disease uh, organism can cause the disease a new infection in the healthy plant that is what now we are facing we are using what we are using the mask we are we are washing our hand this is because that when we sneeze or we talk that the liquid droplets it's come out from our body if any one of us is contaminated already that can spread the disease in other healthy people that is why that keeping the distance contact and protecting ourselves spreading the infectious fluid from our body to other or getting the infectious fluid from others okay that is why we are using the mask to protect ourselves okay this is just a prevention of the spread of disease and that is why that we are now in online classes is it we are in online class so this one another one important person in the in the viruses is related to viruses is w m stanley w m stanley 
this WM Stanley for the first time crystallized, succeeded in crystallize, crystallize this viruses from infectious, uh, from the disease plant. And it was done in TMB. Okay. Hey, uh, hello. Hello, students. Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, yeah. so, uh, can you, uh, I think uh, you can see current electric cable is there? Yes, sir. My internet is on, of course. I don't know whether you can see. Is okay? Yes, sir. No. Okay, then uh, so this was that uh, Stanley he could crystallize. He was credited with the discovery of the plant virus also. This was done in tobacco mosaic virus. This uh, you should know. Tobacco mosaic. virus, mosaic disease of tobacco plant. Okay, this uh, viruses cause the disease to animal as well as plant. This is diseases to animals as well as in plants. Animals and human beings. This common flu, influenza, that is? No, influenza virus. Is it? Common flu that is caused by the viruses. Then mobs. See, uh, rabies disease, that is uh, on the uh, uh, dog bite, that the rabies is uh, produced, that also is a viral disease. The disease that AIDS is a viral disease. So, and in plant, there is a, this a disease are mostly mosaic and curling stunted growth. Uh, the symptoms that is produced in produced in plant is that the mosaic curling, stunted growth, it in fact affect the growth also, are some of the uh, symptoms and that one is yellowing of leaves leaf rolling, leaf curling, rolling, etc. is there. Uh, uh, you know that uh, the polio, no, polio vaccine is given, no? Polio, then those pox, chicken pox, small pox, all these poxes, they are the viral disease. For polio, those vaccines, vaccines are used for the viral diseases. For the viral diseases, antibiotic usually does not work. 
because to work uh, the antibiotic to work they require a protoplasm and the viruses don't have protoplasm so there is uh, no effect of antibiotic on the viruses and viral disease uh, sometime i think you have heard that in the corona also some antibiotics are used to control the corona but that is actually not to control the corona during when the corona infection is there that uh, some bacterial infection is also there which can cause the weakness uh, to the patient that's why they are kept a set guard the uh, patient by using the antibiotics okay okay these are another thing is there one is viroids viroids are there viroids it is that is the virus without capsid one way it is virus without protein okay viruses they have nucleic acid and protein this is a viroids means a like virus only the nucleic acid okay they are only nucleic acid usually it is low molecular weight rna i have written here that viruses without protein it does not mean that when the virus infect a animal or plant at that time they are without protein capsid that is not viroid the viroid they stay as without protein so they are actually naked nucleic acid they are the nucleic acid these viruses are infectious infectious nucleic acid particularly the rna low molecular rna this was first reported by tio diner diner in 1971 in these Uh, last century uh, this was first discovered and discovered which was causing this uh, potato spindle tuber disease potato spindle tuber disease in that it was first reported they are to be the free rna actually they are free rna also you can say okay and the lichen lichen is already i have told the rna dna uh, sorry uh, in lichen that uh, algae and fungi symbiosis and this algal partner is phycobiont fungal partner is um, the mycobiont algae 
synthesize algae are green autotroph so they can synthesize food and fungi they carry out they absorb mineral and water from the substratum so by combining together they stay in a very very tough habitat also they can grow in such a place where the other independent organism cannot grow the fungi alone cannot grow the algae alone cannot grow but in the symbiotic form they are growing on the rock they are growing on the bark of the tree okay where no other organism can grow and that is why this uh, uh, the where there is a um, uh, formation of that is the uh, new during the initiation of initiation of new vegetation vegetation in the rocky place rocky places or in sandy places okay in the desert okay this lichen is first colonized lichen colonize first means in any barren land which is rocky if the vegetation to start there the lichen has to grow there first then only other organism gradually can grow so this is known as the pioneer pioneer organism okay time is very less left than 15 one question which of the following are the most suitable indicator of sulfur dioxide pollution this one lichen is lichen is indicator plant lichen is a indicator plant or organism this is plant or i it is whatever it is an indicator organism and here this is particularly sensitive to sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide is a potent air pollutant is it this so lichen is very sensitive lichen is very sensitive to air pollution not other pollution it is sensitive to air pollution okay so here this one is lichen another question again 
which that what I told, which of the following would appear as the pioneer organism on bare rock? It is the lichen. Number four option. Option number four, it is lichen. After lichen come the liverworts. Okay. This is also that the benefit given by algae in lichen is, as I told, that uh, the uh, algae and fungi, they are uh, uh, staying mutually, you know. So algae is autotroph, so it synthesizes food. Side organic food. All right. And fungi, it can absorb water, mineral, and provide shelter to the algae shelter to the algae so this is benefit given by algae in lichen is that the food for fungi it is providing food to the fungi and fungi is providing shelter minerals and giving protection also. Okay. The first question in this virus, viruses are inner outside their a specific host cell are obligate parasite pass through bacteria proof filter. Okay, all these are true for viruses. So, all of these viruses are all these characters. Number two. Which of the following statement is incorrect about virus? Which one? About virus, which one is important? Which one is incorrect? Can you tell? Hello? Anyone please respond, otherwise I will come to the classroom face to face, then you have to... Number four, sir. Number four, yes, viruses, they have either DNA or RNA as their genetic material, both cannot be, TMB contain both, this is wrong. So. Our option is this four. Number three, chemically viruses are glycoprotein, glycolipid, nucleoprotein, lipopolysaccharide. This is actually number four. Okay. Which one? Glycoprotein, you know, glycoprotein means protein plus carbohydrate.
glycolipid glycolipid is lipid plus carbohydrate that is fat plus carbohydrate nucleoprotein means a nucleic acid plus protein lipopolysaccharides lipopolysaccharide this is polysaccharide with lipid poly saccharide with lipid that is in the carbohydrate also carbo glycolipid here it is especially mentioned that that is uh, uh, carbohydrate is a polysaccharide so chemically viruses contain what nucleic acid and protein so the answer is this and then in the plant viral symptom can be what are the viral symptom that is when virus infect a plant what are the abnormality that we can see in their morphology or inside that which we can see this is a mosaic formation leaf rolling and leaf curling this is the true yellowing and vein clearing that the leaf become yellow that chlorophyll death is there vein clearing vein clearing in the leaf there is vein so along the vein that the chlorophyll is lost so vein clearing dwarfing and stunted growth means a plant does not grow normally a small remain a small a stunted all of these are the symptoms in the plant infection number 5 viroids differ from viruses in being naked dna molecule naked rna molecule oh this star is given here this one is the answer okay this is naked rna molecule okay number 6 this is that denar who discovered the oh this is infectious here it will be c okay infectious as that that was smaller than virus this was it is a free rna it causes potato spindle tuber disease it is a free rna molecular weight of rna is very low so these character are assigned to viroid prions no this is also infectious thing but the prions are infectious protein okay viruses did not find a place in classification since they are not truly living they are not truly living
which of the following group of diseases is caused by viruses oh what is the left that uh, this thing should be See here, which of the following group of disease is caused by viruses? This is This uh, mumps, uh, smallpox, herpes, influenza. This one is the viral disease. Here, diabetes is not a viral or bacterial. This is not a pathogenic disease. Not caused by any pathogen. Okay, diabetic. And herpes is uh, uh, um, viral disease, tuberculosis, the TB. This one is bac bacterial. Okay. This one. Anthrax is bacterial disease. Anthrax takes place in animals. Anthrax, cholera, tetanus, tuberculosis, entire, all these are bacterial. Cholera, tetanus, smallpox, influenza. This one is, these two are viral, these two are bacterial disease. Next. Oh. Select the wrong statement here. Which one? Go through. Which is the this first one? First one is the wrong statement, no hydroids. Huh? So this is the this was asked in IAIPMT 2000 diagram given and this you have to identify the A, B, C, D in the following figure. A is, say, this is a virus which is known as bacteriophage. Bacteriophage. And in this bacteriophage, this portion is the head. This is head. Haze is polyhedral no, and a definite geometric shape. And then there is a portion, that pipe-like portion is there. This has, this B is the collar. C is the seat. And D is, these are called the tail tail fiber okay so this first one is very correct a head b collar c seat and d 
tail fiber. This one. This is bacteriophage. Next one is this one is another virus. Another virus is given below is the diagram of a virus in which one of the option all the three a b c c is the name of the virus are correct in this option in one a b c is correct this is c c means the name of the virus a is that b is that this is spiral structure you can see this one is the RNA and these pieces, small pieces that arrange in a stack, this is the capsomer. Uh, that form the capsid and uh, this virus is C is the TMV tobacco mosaic virus so this one RNA capsomere and tobacco mosaic virus so number one is correct okay all right now uh, so today we will uh, stop it here and in the uh, next class the plant